This is a follow-up video to my review on the Runcam Wi-Fi Link 2. To cut a long story short, I showed in that video that out-of-the-box performance of the Runcam Wi-Fi Link 2 was really bad. Like, really, really bad. We're talking completely unflyable. And that experience was also mirrored by a lot of other YouTube reviewers that tried the default settings. And you may be wondering why so many people are just running the default settings. But that's because as YouTube reviewers, we need to look at a product as it comes delivered to us. It's not our job to fix the product and make it work for the initial review. That comes later. And the default settings that Runcam shipped the Wi-Fi link to with are just hilariously bad. For example, these. These are what actually turn on the second antenna. So yeah, Runcam shipped this with only one antenna working. And this setting here, that's what controls the power output. TX Power 20 equates to about 40 milliwatts. So it's no wonder people are getting really bad performance. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing some settings that I believe should be the new default that the unit ships with from factory. And I'm gonna be doing that by giving you a live narration of some of my FPV flights with these settings. And I just want to say big thanks to Mike Bigley and eGirl FPV for help with these settings. You're gonna set channel to 149. Now it comes with 161 as default, but that channel can be a little bit crowded. In fact, you want to use what's called no DFS channels. That's channels without the dynamic frequency on them, as these are gonna give you the best performance. You're gonna to wanna to set TX power to 40. Now it can go higher, but there is a little bit of a theory at the moment that the Runcam unit is not capable of actually outputting that power cleanly and that is causing interference. So that does need to be tested further, but at the moment just set that to TX power 40 or you're more than welcome to experiment with that if you want. So the FEC, that's your error correction, you're gonna set that to 12 and 15. And the STBC and LDPC, you're gonna set these to one. And that basically turns on the second antenna. So it is very important to also make these changes on the SD card, otherwise they will be overwritten the next time you power cycle the unit. And if you're wondering how to do that, I do actually have a tutorial that I will link in the description. So we're actually coming up on 1.4 kilometers here. We haven't had any breakup, everything has been very smooth. Obviously, people usually fly at much less distances than this, so you can gauge the performance like that. So we're just flying over this river. It's not a very good day today, so you can see it's a little bit foggy. That actually makes the signal worse, so I'm actually straining it even more than a clear day here. So there we get our first piece of breakup at about 1.5 kilometers but we're still pressing on. It looks perfectly fine at the moment. Here we come up on two kilometers, still perfectly smooth, no problems. And as we're just getting to 2.2, you'll notice my RC link actually start to fail. And at that point, when it lowers, that's the point I turn around and cancel the test. So as I turn around, there is a little bit of interference from the antenna and we get a little bit of break up there. But as you can see, as soon as I have finished turning around, I get the video link back and from now all the way back, it again is still yeah. smooth as anything. Yeah. Uh. Firmware loaded on the plug for the lens. Open up PC, hacking, breaking all the trends. Drones in the skies, eyes sharper than hawks. Back is steady streaming, we ain't never lost. From the ground to the clouds, yeah, we transmit. Haters try to scramble, but they can't hit. Open source warriors, we don't quit. FPV vision locked, we stay legit. Silicon soldiers, code on the grind. Protocols breaking chains free in the mind. DJI encrypted, now nah, we crack that. Open up PC, we're kings of the stack. Flying fleet with the stealth of a ghost. Dev boards gleaming, we brag, we boast. Line of sight.
night long gone yeah we roast data through the ether we stay engrossed commands flip quick latency low tie so I think this demonstrates the strength of these settings. I think we finally have got some good settings where we can get some smooth video footage. What I want to do now is I want to put this on a 5 inch freestyle drone and just check out the penetration, just check out when I'm actually doing those freestyle tricks, how much break I actually get. Because obviously this is on a fixed wing in open air so it is going to be a little bit easier. So that is the end of the video. If you would like to see further testing, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.